At the end of day two at Gettysburg, the situation for the Union has been somewhat compressed in that they have decided, wow, it is ultimately wise for us to hold on to the high ground and do the best we can, setting up a defensive posture. We don't know what the Confederates are going to do. They might leave, but it's likely that they're going to hang around. And if they hang around, we're not attacking them. We have the high position. We should stay where we are. And a lot of the Union troops are scattered about Cemetery Ridge, and with them, the, the 15 units from Maine are there, including some that, that never fire a gun. For example, the 7th Maine walks over 30 miles in 90 degree heat to reach Gettysburg and be held in a reserve position where if you're in a high position with the Confederates and you look down and you see, all right, what's a raid before me? What am I going to run into? If, uh, if I succeed, or if it looks like I'm succeeding, what is going to be brought to bear against me? And you're seeing hundreds, if not thousands of troops in reserve. Gettysburg goes from a population of 2,400 on June 30th to a population of over 150,000 on July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. And those 150,000 are fighting each other in huge numbers. And when you can see how that town is now populated with warring combatants, and you realize the enormity of the battle and how all the parts, even if they don't know what the other guys are doing, fit into determining the outcome.